Today's video is going to be a juicy one. And guys, I am so excited for it because this video was actually inspired by you. Last week, I received a question that basically was asking how I organize my different areas of life into pages within my Notion. And the short answer is that I don't but we'll get into that shortly. If you're new here, my name is Kat. I love all things Notion and productivity and just the day-to-day -day things of life. If that sounds like you too, be sure to subscribe so we can be internet besties. A quick disclaimer before we get started, today's video is going to be a little bit more theoretical. I'll be showing you some examples of how I implement things in my Notion space, but if you want to see the full Notion tour, be sure to check out my 2023 Notion tour because you can see it all there. I feel like I have been on a very long planning journey trying to find something that I really like. As a kid, I was always that kid that kept everything in my head, like literally everything, all my activities, all my homework, everything. And I never really had a problem with that until I got to college and I wanted to start taking things a little bit more seriously. That is when I created my first bullet journal and I loved that. Not only did I get to customize it and put whatever I want into it and it held all my information, but it was also a creative outlet for me. I loved getting super fancy with it, all the washi tape, all the markers, all the highlighters. However, that fun only lasted me so long because pretty quickly I got tired of outlining everything every single month. I was having a hard time setting aside time to do that. And then I would be behind and then I would be trying to like hurry and draw all these things because I couldn't write things down and it was, just a mess. So then I tried using a happy planner because those are a little more structured and I still got to decorate it. And then I started falling into the same exact pattern again. I honestly think part of this though was because I just don't really like writing all my stuff down all the time. It started to feel like a chore to write it all down. And on top of it, I was a lot of the times writing down the same thing every single week. And I felt like I was putting in so much effort to write everything down that it was just easier for me to, to put it right back in my head and just keep it there. Then I found Notion. And let me tell you, it was not all sunshine and rainbows right away. I was honestly doing the same exact thing that I was doing with my paper planning as I was writing down the same things every single week. And I was again spending more time on my planning than I was actually doing the things that I needed to do. I stuck with this a little bit longer though because Notion is digital and I loved that I could take it wherever I could access it on my phone or my laptop, wherever I needed to. And on top of that, I still got to be creative with it. There's things that you can do that kind of make it feel like bullet journaling, like adding headers. And if you're interested, be sure to check out the video, how I make my Notion aesthetic to catch my favorite Notion tips and tricks to make your page look gorgeous. The more I continued to learn about Notion, the more I realized that you can actually automate quite a bit of the things that I was doing and that I don't actually need to spend as much time planning as I was. My weekly planning became a breeze and I actually stopped keeping all those things in my head because it was easier for me to write them down and just not think about them again. And that's why I'm here to share with you because I want you to be able to unlock the same capabilities from Notion, whether it's from my pre-made templates or you're creating your own from learning from some of my videos. Don't worry, I'll link some of my favorite videos for learning more down below. So you might be asking, what's the secret? How do you plan in Notion? Well, that's gonna kind of depend on you and how you like to plan. There's so many ways to visually display your tasks differently that you kind of have to play around with it and see what you like. But today I'm going to share with you some of my do's and don'ts for planning in Notion so that you can reframe the way that you see Notion and make it work for you. So firstly, don't scatter all of your important information across multiple pages. As I mentioned earlier, I don't have separate pages for different portions of my life. Examples of this could be work or volunteering or cleaning your home. And to be honest, that's how I started with Notion. I had different pages for everything because that's what makes most sense, right? But here's the thing, because Notion is not a planner or a notebook, you can't just flip between pages and find those different things very quickly. You have to actually navigate around within Notion to find what you're looking for. So what you should do instead is to condense all of your pages when possible. For me, that means having one table for all of my tasks across my entire Notion setup. The way I delineate those tasks is by giving them a category so I know whether it's personal or work related or cleaning related, that kind of a thing. And then when I go to my daily page, which holds everything I need to know for that day, I can see what all those tasks are and when maybe I should do them. But that doesn't mean to never create a separate page. So here's a tip for you. 
Create a separate page when you have a large thing going on in your life that you might want to reference a page for. For example, back in November when I got my mineral testing done and got those results back, I knew that this was going to be a larger health journey for me. So I wanted to create a page that I could come back and reference. And that's how my health page was born. It shows all of my tasks that are related to health goals, which is just my normal task table filtered down. And then I have a filtered view of my course note, which holds all the health notes that I might have taken from an online course or informational videos. And this also creates a place to hold my testing results, my little workout calendar that I had, and any other links that might be pertinent to my health journey at the moment. This makes it super easy for me whenever I want to do a little health check-in with myself, but those tasks also show up in my daily planning page because that's where I'm going to be looking at them to see them and get them done. Other examples of pages like this for me include my finances, my meal planning, my travel stuff, all that kind of stuff because that's not things that I would access on a day-to-day -day basis. It's really just there for whenever I need to check in on those things. Next, check in with yourself and make sure that you're not going into using Notion without an idea of how you want it to flow. Without a clear use for your Notion pages, they're just gonna end up becoming places to hold information rather than an actual planner because you're not going to be using them. They're just gonna be kind of sitting there. So what you can do is create a workflow within Notion that works for you. You can ask yourself, how do I like to plan? Would I want to plan weekly or monthly or daily? What things do you want to include in your planning routine? Once you have those answers, then you can create a system in Notion that helps you execute that plan. If you want to know more about creating a workflow in Notion, be sure to check out my Notion for Productivity video because that walks you through how to create an actual workflow. Next up, don't use the check boxes to list out your to-dos. The check boxes in Notion are are stagnant. They only exist in one place. And that means anytime you want to reference those checkboxes or mark them off, you have to go back to that page that you wrote them to check them off. This one is a huge pet peeve of mine. I am not going to lie. And I'm not saying to never use them. They're honestly great in certain situations. But I see so many people writing out their to-dos every single day using those checkboxes. And if that's how you like to do it, go for it, that's awesome. But this does add a significant amount of work for you every single day and that's just not my jam. What you can do instead is add all of your to-dos into a database. You can still add the little check marks so you're checking them off, but the awesome thing about databases is that you can create linked views of them anywhere you want. So those to-dos can follow you to any other page that they need to. As I mentioned before, all of my to-dos go in my task table and if I need them on a different page, I can make a filtered view of that database. And this is how I create my daily planning page. All of the to-dos that I enter in once a week will show up on my daily planning page based on the due date that I gave it, which means every single day that I go in there, I only have to see what's due for that day. And I'm not trying to guess, I already know. I've already planned it out the week before. So it saves me a lot of planning and it also saves me a lot of flipping back and forth between pages because it's all on one single page. I don't have to go try to find the to-do to check it off. And here's a pro tip. You can filter your to-dos with the relation property when needed. This makes filtering your tasks super automated and easy. For example, on my content, and calendar, I have a filtered to-do list on every single page so I can add the filming and video to-dos that I need to do. And this is filtered through a relational property from my tasks database to my content database. And it's automatically added when I click the little add to-dos button. If you want to learn more about adding relational properties, be sure to check out my Notion databases video because it walks you through that and shows you an example. Then lastly, don't separate out all of your long-term goals from your short-term to-dos. So many people struggle to complete their long-term goals because they don't incorporate them into their day-to-day -day schedules. While I do encourage you to make a separate space to kind of brainstorm and write down these long-term goals, use Notion to your advantage. Add your goal action items into your task database so they're already ready to go for you. For me, this is where Notion has the advantage over paper. Even though you've created a separate space to write out your longer term goals, you still have the opportunity to make sure that those needle moving tasks end up in your task database and show up on your daily planner every single day and it's all automated. If you're looking for a system that already has goal planning integrated into your daily planning, be sure to check out my productivity planner template that's in my Etsy shop already made for you waiting to go. The goal planning template I've created includes a place to make a plan and add your to-do list that will automatically show up in your daily planning page. This is actually the template that I personally use every single day and let me tell you it is a game changer. So there you have it. These are my favorite tips for creating a digital planner in Notion that will work for you and save you a little bit of time and effort. If you like this
this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so that I know you found it helpful. And if you have any more questions for me, be sure to leave them below in the comments. I'd love to answer them. Here's to creating your best digital planner. I'll see you guys in the next video.